Okay, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to go over a presentation about uh, migrating from Notes and Domino to Docova. So let's go. Okay, leaving Notes and Domino. Overview. Uh, Docova is a low-code application development environment. We understand what it takes to be able to deliver useful solutions that make companies successful. We've built many business solutions uh, for uh, hundreds of, or thousands of business solutions for hundreds of uh, companies over the last 24 years at DLI Tools. And so, uh, you know, with our 20 plus years of experience building and integrating these custom business applications, um, we have a lot of experience and know-how in terms of how to develop a business application for customers and what the idiosyncrasies are to make those successful business applications. And we've taken that knowledge and experience and we've built it into our low-code application development platform, Docova. Many organizations, if you're watching this video, are looking, are making the decision to leave Notes and Domino. Uh, it's a complex task and it requires, uh, and it carries a lot of risk factors like how much will it cost? How long will it take? How do you move forward with what technologies? And then in this presentation, we're talking about migrating to Docova. And so knowing what Docova can do for you is a big part of that, right? Uh, where do we start? Uh, we start we'll by anal analyzing your applications. Okay, so just quickly, there's two types of analysis uh, that you might do uh, when you're uh, going through you know, planning for migrating off of Notes and Domino. Um, one set of tools are the type of tools which are sort of like, you know, what applications do you have? How many people use those applications? How many documents are in those applications? Are some, you know, some applications not used for years and some are, you know, used by many uh, and up to date <laughs> and so on. Um, and so we make use of some of those tools uh, when we help you uh, a lot of times what happens is we come to a, a, a company comes to us or we find a company out there that's looking to migrate and they've already done the analysis. So uh, we can help you with that analysis um, and there's lots of great tools out there for that. Now, we also have our own analysis tool and uh, it, it's not like that type of analysis. What we do is we analyze individual databases and specifically we analyze the design elements and the code in those uh, applications for the sole purpose of uh, getting an estimate of how long uh, it will take and how much it will cost to migrate that application to Docova. So we determine design and data complexity. Uh, we provide you with an overview cost and time estimate uh, for uh, what it would take to get over to Docova. And of course, um, we are there with you every step of the way. Okay, so planning. When you're planning uh, migrating your notes applications, uh, these are the typical things that you go through uh, or that you think about um, what you're going to do with your notes applications. And um, I've kind of added an extra one to the bottom, uh, which is mandatory. Okay, so deleting. So sometimes you're, there's a notes applications that you have that you don't need anymore and nobody's using the data in them. And, uh, you, you know, you just don't use them anymore and you can delete them. And there you go. You just delete them. Um, there's nothing to do there except just to go and delete those applications. Archiving, sometimes archiving is sold as migrating by solutions out there in the world. <laughs> um, archiving is not uh, migrating, it's just um, typically getting a read-only version uh, of your applications off of Notes and Domino <clears throat> and into some other product, right? Some of them are really, really great and um, you know, they give you searching capabilities and stuff like that, easy to use, and they're slick looking. Um, but that's archiving. Uh, replacing, um, you might go through a process of where you uh, look uh, to off-the-shelf products out there, like uh, to, to replace a CRM or an ERP system or project management, for example, that you might have been doing in Notes. And so you pay a subscription and you, you sign up for Monday.com or for uh, Salesforce, for example. And so we call that replacing. Uh, redeveloping, sometimes you're just like, uh, you know what, this is a complex notes app and stuff. It doesn't really fit in anywhere. It's specific to the way you guys do business. It is a, um, 
a bespoke application, a custom application that your company uses. And lots of companies uh, have those, especially if you're in the notes and domino world. Uh, and so um, you might uh, opt to redevelop some of those applications. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Migrating. So migrating in a true migration is when you're migrating you know, the data and all the design of your notes applications to another platform. In this case, we're going to be talking about Docova. And we have the most sophisticated migration uh, process because it's coming to Docova. It's our product, and so we, um, we can deal with all the details of all the design elements and all the data um, and so on that's uh, coming from uh, your notes applications. And then uh, and, and migrating and redeveloping are, are, you know, kind of go hand in hand because, um, you know, what migrating does is really um, moves a whole bunch of the stuff that you would otherwise have to redevelop over, uh, you know, in bulk for you and convert it. And so um, they're sort of hand in hand in that, um, you know, it, it kind of is a redevelopment, but it's an automated redevelopment in that it, it, it just migrates all the stuff over for you. Okay, uh, and then we've added uh, one on here called Manage. Um, a lot of uh, what people don't talk about in this um, context of migrating off Notes and Domino is, is how you're moving forward, right? So what are you doing with the apps that you redeveloped or that you uh, migrated over? How are you um, updating them, you know, making changes to them, enhancing them, modernizing them? Uh, and what about new applications that you're creating? Um, what are you doing with that? And so this is going to talk about um, not only migrating off notes and, and Domino, but also moving forward. Okay, I'm going to show you these two um, slides here, and I'm going to flip between this one that we're on here, Digital Transformation Chaos, and the next one, which is the Docova Solution. And you'll notice um, the arrows, how they're pointing out, and then they're pointing in. So in this scenario here, you know, if you're on Notes and Domino, it was a very powerful platform um, in the past. It was ahead of its time. And you know what? It's centralized and integrated applications in one place. And they're powerful. And it was rapid application development. And um, so it was very effective. But unfortunately, it's decayed. And companies then have let it decay uh, or what have you. And then you get new people who don't know about it and so on. So. It's time to leave, right? Um, but what's happening when you're trying to get off the Notes and Domino platform is what you see on the screen here. So if we go to the top left, archiving solutions, what we talked about, not a true migration, but some of your applications you might archive into an archiving solution. Some applications you might replace. So now you're buying multiple subscriptions possible um, to, to um, replace some of your other Notes applications. Um, too much of what you, so the points on there, off-the-shelf applications, too much of what you don't need, not enough of what you do need, and overlapping functionality. So what I mean by those points are too much of what you don't need, so typically you get an off-the-shelf application, and it does more than, you know, often they're, they're developing those applications, so it does everything under the sun for CRM, but you guys might not need that, right? Or everything under the sun for project management, you might not need that. Or it might not have what you do need. You guys do business a certain way. You know, we put invoice processing, for example, systems into many companies. And we've never put the same invoice processing system in twice. Every company has to do invoice processing, but they all do it differently. right? And it's often the same with project management, CRM, and so on. And so too much of what you don't need, not of what you, enough of what you do need. So when you do need something like, oh man, could we put this functionality into this off-the-shelf application? You have to ask the vendor. Sometimes it's impossible. Sometimes it'll take forever or it's expensive, for example. Um, and then overlapping functionality. So for example, uh, say you had a CRM application that tracks expenses you know, to do with sales. Or you ha also have a project management off-the-shelf application and it helps you track expenses um, you know, to do with projects. Um, so now you could be potentially having some employees submitting um, expenses uh, via spreadsheets, some doing it through their CRM and some others doing it through uh, their project management system. And, uh, and you might be doing it yourself through these multiple systems. And so you, you end up with these integration and, and this disparate data all over the place. It's difficult to manage. And then SharePoint, okay? so. <clears throat> Some applications can be um, replaced by SharePoint or moved over by SharePoint. Typically, they're simple applications with not very much data in them. 
can do that. It's just another disparate system that you're moving some of your applications to. Up in the top right, migrating or redeveloping your applications. So what technology you're gonna use? Java, React, Node.js, Angular, Vue.js, any of those, right? They're complex to imagine. If you already have those environments, you know that there's a lot of components to Angular and you have to maintain the different versions of all of those, com those components. And that can be a headache in and of itself. Um, they're complex to manage. Um, and then what about standard workflows, DevOps, security interface, and that sort of thing? What about moving forward, building new apps, modifying your, mod your migrated apps, uh, DevOps? What about mobile interfaces and IoT, things like that? Right? And so then if I bring your focus down to the core platform, uh, the, the box at the very bottom in the middle, you know, what about search engines? Like you said, workflow engine, it's more than just migrating that, that notes application. There's a platform that that application runs on that has a workflow engine that has search capabilities built in, uh, security and authentication, directory services, access control at multi layers and multi-factor authentication, all those types of things. And then what else? Many companies are moving to uh, Microsoft 365, which used to be Office 360 or O365. So what about the typical user applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Exchange, OneDrive? Those are all, you know, typical. How are you going to integrate with those and, and creating PDFs and things like that? How do you integrate your notes applications when you migrate them for all of those things? Or if you redevelop those applications in React or, or Angular, how are you doing those integrations, right? How are you integrating it with your Outlook Exchange mail and stuff like that? You know, when you create an application, can you attach from Exchange? Can you, um, you know, get an application out of your application into a mail message that you're sending? Those kind of things, right? Not to mention the Dataverse, Power Query, Power Automate. There's a whole layer of architecture in the Microsoft world that you could integrate or you can make uh, use of and leverage uh, as part of your, you know, um, uh, Microsoft 3 and, uh, 365 integrations, you know, if you're using Azure Active Directory and, and so on, or Active Directory. And, and so there's all those questions too. So it's not just about migrating and redeveloping the applications. There's also this whole platform needed to support that migration or redevelopment or re-engineering. Um, and then on the bottom right here, data migration. So um, now, you know, you're going to have data spread across multiple systems. So from a searching point of view and stuff, now maybe you need separate tools that, that then goes out and, and tries to amalgamate all your information so you can search across them and so on, right? Um, doc links are lost. What about access control that is tied to the data like usernames and readers and authors fields and so on? Okay, so there's a whole bunch to think about when you're thinking about migrating and all. And you know what, if you're still a company that's on Notes and Domino, you're still on it because it's not easy to get off of, right? Um, and you haven't found out about us yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, so next slide that I showed before, the Docova solution. So notice now everything, you know, staying here. One subscription, one solution. So from an archiving point of view, yeah. So maybe you have applications you don't really need to add data to or edit the data in those apps or those databases anymore. That's fine. You can still migrate them in read mode into Docova so they can be archived into Docova as an application that you're no longer using. The power of it is that it's still part of the overall federated index searching. So you can now search across all of your archived application, all your live applications, all your new applications, all your integrated applications, all in one place. And you can integrate with your, uh, your new application. So if you wanted to integrate some data in an archive, you know, into a live being used application as a lookup or something like that, or as a reference, you can do that. It's all one platform. So you can still archive with Docova, except you can really make use of that archive moving forward. Okay, replacing. So I'm not gonna say that, uh, you know, we're better, your Docova is any better, or, or what you would develop as a CRM is any better than any CRM that's out there, right? But it does allow you to reduce your subscriptions, right? So you can potentially do your project management do your, um, your um, CRM, your ERP and stuff in one place uh, and one subscription and, and have it work the way you want it to work. And the, the problem in the past has been and why so many went to off-the-shelf applications is because development's expensive, 
to develop custom bespoke applications is expensive. And so now with the emergence of low code, no code, that has gone away. Now it's much more viable for you to start creating your own custom bespoke applications for yourself. Um, or have consultants like us or our business partners do it for you or with you uh, so that um, it, it just is less consulting time so that they can put together or assemble these applications much faster. Now, SharePoint, we integrate with SharePoint. Um, I'm going to be putting some links uh, below in migrating, uh, redeveloping apps. Um, so when you migrate, it's kind of like you can also use Docova to truly redevelop an app if you don't want to migrate and say, you know what, let's start from zero again here or something. It's a low code solution, so it's fast. You could put together your applications very quickly, very cost effectively. Um, it's, and when we do migrate, we are the most comprehensive migration because we have power over what's being migrated to, right? We also have standard workflow, DevOps operations, security, standard interface, all those things for you. That core platform that we we're talking about, again, uh, in the middle of the bottom square there, the core platform of searching, authentication, securities, all built in on everything that you're building. Um, and moving forward, managing your applications moving forward, we have a platform to manage your applications and your, and your um, business analytics on. Uh, we uh, so now you can build new apps aside from migrating from doc over I mean from uh, notes um, you can build new apps modify migrated apps integrate legacy and existing apps so you can have an application developed you can develop an application in doc over but the data doesn't have to be in the doc over database it can be in your legacy database with full crud capabilities that's the ability to edit and update uh, the data in the other system, and since it's Docova, you could make it mobile or integrate it with IoT, for example. So now you can mobilize your legacy applications onto your phone. And Docova has a mobile application, so that all your and it's a hybrid, so that all your applications are through your phone, but you don't have to post them to the Apple Store or to the uh, or to the Play Store to. Um, uh, you know, every single one of your apps as an individual mobile app. Um, all you have to do is get the Docova mobile app and then things that you create in Docova, you can say, oh, this is mobile and it will automatically show up um, on people's Docova mobile application on their phones. So, and if you make an update, it's instantaneous. So any mobile updates that you make to your applications are, are instant. Um, okay, and then data migration, data in across, uh, integrated across um, several applications, doc links are maintained, all the access control and names and reading, we'll talk about more, more of that. Um, and then MS365 integration, let me move my little picture here. So, of course, the integration with Word, Excel, so you can export, import, you can import and expel an Excel spreadsheet or CSV and create an application from that information in Docova. Um, powerful things like that. Integration with OneDrive, Dataverse, Power Query, Power Automate for your RPA stuff, and so on. Let's move on. Ah, trying to go forward. Okay, the Docova solutions. Uh, companies, so to summarize, companies should look for a complete end-to-end -end solution when considering leaving their notes in Domino environment. As we already talked about, archive apps to Docova, Reconsider some off-shelf apps um, and reconsider, you know, developing your own in-house versions of those, like CRM, ERP. We have customers that do the, their own ERP systems and so on. Um, redeveloping, if you want to redevelop an app, uh, whether it's new or not, it's low code, it's fast, it's cost effective. Um, migration, as I mentioned, most powerful in the industry because we have control over it, right? We have control over where it's going. Um, modifying your applications, building new apps, moving forward, integration, like I said, mobilization, standardized workflow, security, business analytics, IoT, hub, uh, DevOps, and we have demonstrations of those things too uh, in our YouTube channel or, or contact us for demonstrations. Um, and like I mentioned, the hybrid of redevelop and, and migrate, um, where you know you can migrate something and redevelop, so you don't have to do it from scratch. You can you can dump it all over. Um, the forms and views and things like that, um, and uh, and really the point is, you know, to avoid um, 
the digital transformation chaos. Avoid getting all these separate, different, disparate solutions to replace your once very centralized solution. Okay, migrating design. What do we migrate when we're migrating notes application designs? So design elements, all the forms, views, outlines, subforms, agents, all that stuff, CSS, JavaScript, all that stuff comes over. Um, security, uh, I'm gonna come back to security for a minute. Business logic, so all your formula and command language behind your action buttons and things like that. Lotus script is translated to Docova's version, uh, Docova's APIs, which is all under uh, JavaScript and PHP, um, and our own object model. Um, you can migrate to multiple databases simultaneously. And then let me talk about security. Let me come back here now to this. So integrated, uh, you know, Azure Active Directory. So I talk a lot about Azure Active Directory because lots of companies are moving to that. Uh, but really any LDAP uh, directory um, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. Um, Docova has its own directory services as well. So really any directory out there. But people, people um, ask about oh, what, what happens because your username, you know, and what have you, all the way things are set up in Docova. I mean, sorry, in Notes, in Domino. Uh, once you move to Azure Active Directory or to Active Directory, those change. And so we use that a lot, or we, we did use those a lot in notes applications, right, in terms of um, uh, authors fields and readers fields and names fields, for example. And so what happens? And as part of the data migration, you'll see that we move um, and we replace. So we match um, what users' names were in the, the notes and domino environment and what they are now in the new environment with whatever directory you're using. So if it's Azure Active Directory, we then say, you know, if it was John Ryan slash DLI before, now it's John Ryan slash ADD slash DL, whatever it is, whatever we turned it into. So that all the access control um, and all the functionality around those constructs uh, stays consistent. Uh, so we maintain app, uh, application access control levels, um, all groups and roles are supported, um, maintains document section, field security, like I said. Um, you can migrate multiple, okay, uh, multiple notes databases simultaneously. Sometimes you don't want to do this because sometimes migrating an application can take um, hours. And so if you teed up 10 of them, it can take many hours. And any IT person knows that you're uh, playing with fire a little bit there. Um, if you want to just leave your machine running for 10 hours uh, migrating something because any of a number of things can happen um, that are unrelated to the migration, right? Like some pop-up from some application or up something or what have you. So, um, you know, uh, migrating an application can take as little as uh, 10 minutes um, versus, you know, can be hours sometimes and depending on how much app uh, data you have as well. Okay, so use templates. So we fully support the use of templates, um, database templates. And so if you have templates or applications that were copied, you can migrate that one application over to Docova and then make copies of it and then migrate just the data from the notes applications after that. So you don't have to do the full forms and views and everything migration. You can just you know, have the apps and make copies of them uh, in Docova super, uh, super easy and just um, migrate the data. Um, you can also migrate single elements. So the next thing here is migrating single elements on an as-needed basis. So even with that use, uh, use templates kind of scenario, say you have uh, five applications that are all the same except the form is a little bit different or they have a couple of uh, design elements that are different. You can still create, you know, move the one and make copies of it and then go into the one that has a different form and migrate in just the one element, just the one form from the notes application or just that one view or the five views that are different for this app. So just to, to express, you can do the, the one whole database, multiple databases or one-off design elements where you're importing that agent or that form or just that view, for example. Um, and uh, okay, so argument. So, um, just to you know, address what some of our customers say, you know, that they don't want to bring over their old crappy applications. So it's funny in that some companies want the migration of their applications to look the same. So they want the application to look very similar to what it was in Notes and Domino because 
there's no training for their users. Their users basically can see where everything is, they get it, no training or very little training, and they're off to the races, right? So imagine, you could migrate this application in a couple of days, um, you know, one day to migrate, one day to test it, and users are using it, right? And there's really nothing that they need to do. Um, and Docova authenticates with their Azure Active Directory credentials, for example. So what they're logging into in Microsoft 365 is the same as what they would use to get into Docova. So zero training, they're off to the races, very little interruption. And um, so some people are, are happy with that, but we've made it so that it's really easy to modernize those applications and make them look different and enhance them with modern technologies. And so it's not about migrating old crappy applications, it's about really updating, making, refreshing those applications, making them new again, and using the latest technologies with them. So you're updating those applications, you're not using your old notes uh, applications anymore. Um, and, and one point that I have there, not every, so that, that's the thing, not everybody views those old, those old apps as crappy. Some of them just want them to look the same, others don't want them to look the same at all, and you can do both. Um, companies are looking to get off, yeah, so, you know, every company that we look at that is using Notes and Domino, you know, we don't see any new companies um, buying Notes and Domino, right? Um, we just see people maintaining it, companies maintaining it. And, you know, I hate to say really, but, um, and it's the nature of the beast for us, but, you know, every company that we talk to is looking to get off of uh, Notes and Domino and move to something else. And so we're, we're just here to help facilitate that. Uh, okay, let's talk about migrating data. Okay, so what does migrating data entail? Um, so Docova solution, what you're migrating to is a relational model in the back end, not that you technically, not technically need to uh, care about that. You can go on your own premises or in the cloud. We have a Docova cloud services, so you can run all your stuff and move all into our cloud. You can run it on um, um, Microsoft's Azure environment, on uh, Microsoft 365 and so on. And um, Docova, we have an abstraction layer, so we can run on SQL Server, or MySQL, or Oracle. You might already be subscribed to SQL Server, so if that, and be paying for it, so if that's the case, I'll, then you could just um, piggyback on that. Um, and moving your, you know, basically you're moving your notes app to Docova, but are already on something that you're already running SQL Server. MySQL is open source, so it doesn't cost anything. Um, so that's a viable solution, and we run our cloud on MySQL. And Oracle too, so if you're running Oracle, you can also move onto an Oracle platform um, and run that. Uh, frankly, all of our customers right now run on SQL Server MySQL. We haven't run into yet anybody who's running Oracle or wants to move their notes environment to something on Oracle. Um, just so you know. Okay, so what data gets moved? So all field data, um, single and multi-value that's all maintained. Uh, metadata, all created. So metadata is the data that describes a record or a document in Docova. So the last modified created that sort of thing. Um, Domino usernames in the data, uh, like uh, authors and readers fields, um, application access control lists. If you have any JavaScript or HTML on a form, for example, that will come over. All rules, uh, roles and groups are maintained. And you can manage your groups and your users in your Azure Active Directory and Docova um, will synchronize with those and make sure that it's up to date with the latest um, that you've done. Because a lot of times, um, you know, the directories are maintained by sort of the administration uh, portion of IT where the developers might be over here um, on Docova and so on. And so just that, um, just to make that easy, uh, it just can be synchronized. Um, rich text comes over, OLE objects come over, all file attachments come over, which are full text indexed. So all fields and all applications plus all attachments are all full text indexed so that you can search across all of it. Um, doc links are maintained. And uh, response child uh, documents, for example, so that hierarchy is all maintained. So if you have response, 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 whatever, however deep it goes, that's all maintained inside Docova 2 and depicted properly in Docova. Okay, managing, moving forward. So Docova is a platform that you can move forward with. 
on all fronts. You don't have to split up your notes, applications across several solutions. You can come to one solution, right? To move to, Doc, to, to Docova is to move to a no-code, low-code solution. This is an emerging market right now. It's modern and contemporary. You avoid the time and cost of trying to implement uh, many different solutions, not only initially, you know, training on different solutions and, and uh, just the different interfaces and how things work and so on, but just maintaining those things moving into the, into the future. How hard is it to maintain an application that you de developed in Angular? Or, you know, your, your IT folks have to know how to support multiple off-the-shelf solutions as well. And although those vendors will say, oh, we support and stuff like that, you know, it, there's often, you know, when there's when there's a problem with a, an off-the-shelf, a third-party or vendor application, the vendor will say, well, that's not us, that's your environment, and your IT will say, that's not our environment, that's the vendor. And you end up with this, you know, now they have to work together, whose problem was it, who caused it, you know, whatever. Right? So it becomes a challenge, you know, and it takes time. Deep integration with Microsoft technologies, um, you know, it's a path forward that's consistent across all of your applications. Get the features you need, custom, bespoke applications moving forward, uh, building your new business applications. Citizen developer. So a citizen developer, if you don't know already, is a keen business um, user in a company who, you know, might want to develop their own application. So this is something where you can, IT can control um, who can have access to design applications. So you could give, you know, that keen um, you know, business person access to develop applications. And so they could prototype their own applications with very little training, right? So that is the power of this too, where IT can offload uh, some of their development uh, um, uh, resources um, to people who are keen to do it themselves. And who better to sort of visualize um, and try to put together what they need than the person who's looking for some type of application. They know the fields they need and so on. Now, true, maybe IT has to step in and, and make sure that some of the things are um, are done properly or what happened or to the standards that, uh, that IT department needs. And so every, every company is different. And, and so if IT doesn't want to enable any citizen developers, you have the power to do that. If they want to open it up, you have the power to do that too. It's just like bring your own device where some companies will say, no, you have to use the uh, notebook computers that we give to you because they have to maintain them and stuff is the argument more, uh, usually. And this is the software that you have to use as opposed to some other companies that are like, yeah, you know what? You get whatever machines you want, you get whatever software you want, and we'll work together with you to support those things, right? So there's different mindsets across different IT departments and we try to um, you know, help with uh, that uh, variety as well. Um, and then moving forward to editing and changing your migrated applications for the future is quick and easy. And uh, building your own applications quick and easy too. Okay, next steps. Okay, watch the Docova features and benefits video, okay, overview video. Okay, so after watching this, you're like, wow, geez, John, it sounds good. You know, it looks like you migrate everything and it's all, you know, roses. But um, you really don't know enough about Docova yet. Um, and so uh, we realized that and we, uh, so link below is uh, a link to the doc over features and benefits overview video, video. It's just a generic overview to start getting you to uh, understand the breadth and power of Docova as a viable uh, platform for you to move forward with. And we encourage you to contact us to see migrations we do uh, um, and to go over Docova with you so that you can fully understand the platform. Um, and then uh, watch a live migration video. Um, so the video below demonstrates a, a, a real migration of a notes application so you can see what it's like. And uh, if you don't believe it, so we've had before where customer, uh, some of our um, customer or potential customers um, or people advising them like external consultants or whatever might say that, uh, oh no, they've, they've doctored the video or they're not showing you the whole thing or something like that. Um, because it's sometimes pretty amazing to see a notes application come migrated over. 
Um, so we encourage you to ask us to show you that live. We'll show you that, uh, that video live so you can uh, watch it in real time and show you exactly what happens when the application comes over. And so it's not a mystery, right? And, um, you know, there's always that, um, that problem in IT where um, we, we are, we're telling you that it does this thing and then it doesn't really do exactly what you expected and so on. So we want to make sure we dispel with all of those um, questions with you. Okay, so link below to watch that and contact us if you want to see real. And we'll do uh, a real proof of concept, so a POC with one of your applications. So we'll give you the analyzer, you can analyze some applications, and we'll migrate one of your applications to .gova so that you can see it in, um, in a temporary, um, so we have the ability to spin up in our cloud temporary um, .gova instances. We'll do one for your company, we'll migrate a, a, a proof of concept application for you so you can see it. Um, there's different levels of proof of concept that you can do, some that are free and simple, some that, you know, you, if you pay a little bit, we can do a little bit more for you, uh, that sort of thing, right? So, um, and then lastly, you know, just connect with us to get going. You know, you could spin up uh, a version of, uh, or an instance of Docover right now. You could start creating applications today. You could start the process of migrating your applications today. And the reason why I talk about this urgency is because so many companies are thinking and humming and hawing and, you know, somebody says you got to get off of Notes and Domino by this date. And, you know, the people who need to actually do the work are, are, are struggling to really gel in their minds how they're going to get off the platform. Let us help you. We can help you do that. Okay, so check out the links below. Thanks for watching this presentation. Check out the Doc Over Features and Benefits uh, overview. And uh, just get in touch with us, and we'll go through this uh, presentation again and answer any questions that you might have. All right, so that's it for now. I'll see you later.